deemed the celebrity whisperer by Playboy. This is the best interview of the day. Thanks for having me. You hit the nail on the head. 100%. Period, yeah. Touch them. Okay. You're cracking me up. Wear them, baby. Ah! This is good. Taylor Ferber. Okay, we have generation old riffs. We have a little family drama. We have some romance. We have some real life rivalries. Is this a day in the life of a modern American or is it a day in the life of Hallmark's new series, Chicken Sisters? We are going with the latter today, and I am joined by the lovely ladies of this project, both of whom I've interviewed before. I don't know if you ladies remember. It has been a hot minute, but that is okay. This series is based on the New York Times bestseller. It was also on Reese's uh, book club, so you know you got to get up in, in that action. I am with the lovely and very talented Leah Thompson and Genevieve Angelson. Hello, ladies. Hi, Taylor. Hi. They, to they told me that I was being summoned and I was like, I'm being summoned to Hallmark heaven. So there's no place else that I would rather be. It's so good to see you both. I'm going to kick things off here. Obviously, Hallmark is so iconic, the brand in and of itself, right? We all associate something as soon as we hear Hallmark. So I want to know from you ladies, what is the first thing that comes to mind? You hear Hallmark show, Hallmark movie, First thing that comes to mind, go. I'm going like, to jump in and actually say I I don't think that this show is really like discernibly Hallmark. It is and it oh. isn't. My boyfriend was like, it feels like a Christmas movie, but there's no Christmas in it. And it goes on over eight episodes. But at the same time, I think it's like much um, edgier and like it's got a mean streak and it's oh. got like a much more um, uh, oh. it's got like a much more uh, surreal sense of humor um, mm -hmm. that I think people will find is actually pretty different for the platform. So it, it it's both. Like but on the same, two point you know what? When I, yeah, but also when I think about Hallmark, I've I've spent a lot of time on the Hallmark Channel, and this is obviously. Hallmark streaming, um, Hallmark Plus. But um, right. I think that there is a certain amount. I mean, I, I agree with you, Genevieve, but I also think that there is a certain amount of comfort television about this too. Like, yeah. you know, you know that nothing really horrible is going to happen to these characters and you, you, there is a lot of heart and a lot of, even, even though the, some of the characters are pretty acerbic, which is really funny to me, but um I think you know that these people deep down love each other at the end of the day. Well, with that being said, my next little bucket here was going to be about, you know, good old competition. And I won't give away the whole plot of the series, but basically it's the idea of, you know, local, you know, generational businesses going at it in a very public way way right on a, a big national um streaming show and so when it comes to competition where do you ladies fall when it comes like we have the the spectrum of like participation trophy and when it's just unhealthy and goes too far so where are <laughs> you personally when it just comes to good old competition you know and whatever it may be i'm an aries <laughs> oh, so you're I'm not competitive. Oh, yeah. I'm not messing with you. No, no, girl. <laughs> no. Oh, but the other thing is, like, I, I do feel that, like, if I were to be on a professional sport, it would be cheerleading and that I really like being happy for other people. <laughs> that is something that comes very naturally to me. So um, I would like to be a competitive uh, team sport um, <laughs> team participant player. winner. Yeah. Well it definitely <laughs> felt like that from you and from and and also from Skylar, who says she's very, very competitive. But, you know, we weren't competitive with each other, which was not at great. all. We were no. all on the same team and we were just competing that we want season two, three, four and five. That was our competition. We just want the show to be as good as it possibly can. And it's interesting and as fun for the audience as we had making it. Leah, are you competitive like Genevieve in real life? 
because I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say the F-bomb. This is Hallmark. We're going to keep it, you know, family friendly, but the areas are hardcore. I know that to be true. I think I'm mostly, I, I unfortunately, I'm mostly competitive with myself. I mostly just beat I myself. I so relate to that. I so relate to that. Yep. I hear that. Um, so when I said I have interviewed you both before, it's been like maybe six, seven years. I used to be a red carpet reporter. So before I was in this, by the way, my green screen ask, I'm out of my studio. So my limbs and Mike may be missing at any certain. No, point, I but... think I remember you. Did we meet on good girls revolt? Oh boy. I want to say that my I wonder if you were pro maybe, cause I don't know if you were promoting handmaids just yet. Oh, but it's been. been a minute. And then Leah, I have this. I don't know if you remember when I interviewed you and one of your daughter. Oh, there goes my green screen. Anyway, we were on the it's a, it's a T in your magic. Oh, here we are. I don't know if you can see it at all. But oh. anyway, the <laughs> she, I, she brings out the specs. I love it. I have to oh. keep it so far away because the green screen is. That's Maddie. Yes. Oh. Yes. So we had a good time. But the reason I, I bring this up is because. At the time, we had talked about family dynamics. We had talked about, in this specific case, we had talked about, you know, men and their role, you know, in, in relationships and the family dynamic. And you were talking about your husband and she obviously has her dad and all this, right? So I bring all that up because I want to ask, I love how I see in this, you know, because women are competitive in our own way. Um, and I love to see that, you know, played out in this in this project. So how do you both think that men and women are competitive in different ways? Wow, that's a big question. Um, <laughs> for a 10 minute junk, it's a lot, right? Yeah, I don't know. Going for I mean, it. I think the differences are as different between different kinds of women as the, as with men. Um, you know, generally, you think of competitive women, you think, in life, you think women fighting over men and all of that garbage or actresses being uh, mm -hmm. you know, horrible to each other. And I am so not on that team. I mean, I'm, I think one of the things I loved about this show is it is about women lifting each other up. Women, you know, we fight, but at the end of the day, we're a community, we're family, and we want to lift each other up. And I certainly felt that on this show. I felt like mm -hmm. we were all trying to just do the best we can and help each other out. Mm -hmm. and I, so didn't, I didn't mean I was competitive in a way that was that deep. I just mean like, you know, if we're oh, going to yeah, do no, an no. obstacle course, I'm going to try to finish it first. But exactly. I, have to say, I did not, I just to, to echo Leah, this was, and I really mean this, and it's not just, you know, press spin, the most incredible deep fondness I've ever felt for a company of um, colleagues before ever in my career was working with these three That's women. Great. And, and I, yeah. and I, and it's not, it was not, it was effortless. It was just like, you know, adults who really respect and like hanging out with each other, not a show where people disappear to their trailers on the lunch break, but like hang out, eat yeah. together, sit in the green room, hang out on Sundays, go to Skylar's house, have a barbecue, yeah. like, we really dug each other. I missed when there would be like days at a time that Leah would be gone or when one of us would go home for the weekend or something mm -hmm. like, yeah, I wanted more of them, not less. Mm -hmm. So that, that's great. Yeah. And I, and I totally know what you mean, by the way, about your brand of competitive, my boyfriend and I are the same way. It's like, we will be our nie nieces and nephews at Monopoly. Like, we're like, we are <laughs> like, I totally, I totally, it is really savage. I totally know what you mean. And I do think there is something to be said, you guys about women being, like under key, like uh, on the low competitive in a good way. I feel like men always get that kind of label, but women too are competitive in a different way, in a way that we don't always talk about. And we also like in that way, kind of like get shit done. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's really relatable what Leah said about how she's competitive with herself and oh, that I feel totally. like women are faster to turn on themselves than men mm -hmm. uh, where men true. are more yeah. have, or like have an easier time pointing it like it's your fault and I'm going to like beat you at it. Women are like, I did it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know that that That's is our greatest so... asset. Yeah, no. No, I, for better or worse, right? Yeah, exactly. I think I think that's what is interesting about this show is it's this is small town. It's these two rivalries, these rivaling you know, chicken restaurants that have been going on for a hundred years and everybody in yeah. the town side. Yeah. And, you know, we've settled into our own little petty mischief 
And all of a sudden there's a reality show plops in and yeah. having on a reality show or two, I can tell you it doesn't bring out the best in people. So that's, what's really fun <laughs> about this show. It's like, it's such a brilliant way of like taking this yeah. lovely little, you know, milk and putting, stirring, you know, different colors in it, you know, and making it stirring up the pot. Can you imagine if we did a whole thing about how contrived and manip manipulated reality shows are? We could have a whole other rabbit hole and show. Um, no, but it's all real. Don't scare me. All but. of it. From all, beginning, all of it. Um, lastly, I have to I have to let you ladies go. But going off of that and kind of wrap up here, something that the show explores, and I, and I know both of you, I'm sure, experience this in your real life, being so in the public eye. I mean, Leah, right? You're your legend, like, you know, going back to you know back to the future but something that this this show explores is how your you know your family being all up in your business like Genevieve I even know with your with your character right and like being judgmental of what you do and 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 all of that so how do you navigate that in your real life what is your philosophy on how much you let your family get in your head because your art and what you do is so public and it can be tough if they judge something or, or critique or you know what I mean so how do you kind of walk that line in, in real life? Oh, I don't know. I got really lucky. I mean, my, I have really good parents and my sisters are my best friends, but I, you know, I do think that, um, uh, I, I, as you know, as much work as I do on myself or as evolved as I would like to think I am ultimately, like, I still do really want their approval and to impress them. Right. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that, you know, I, I always try to just be like my mom. My mom was always so loving about everything I did, you know, and, and being a mom now, I realize you just have to be like, that was the best thing ever. That's your job, <laughs> mom. You were the best. Um, Especially, I think your daughter's maybe millennial like I am, and I can admit to that. We need validation. <laughs> Like, I'm sure my parents would agree with you of like, yes, just tell us we're doing awesome. No, it is kind of true, though. Sad, but true. Yeah, it's OK. That's the way we should be. Let somebody else tear people down. We, we, we right. There's an exactly there's enough of that in this world um but mm -hmm. with that being said you know this is so great ladies thanks thanks for the time and and a great you know escapist uh you know fun piece that that we all definitely need right now so you know i'm sure it was a blast to be part of and that translates on screen and uh thank you again thank, thank you so much